Machri Moor is one of the most important prehistoric sacred ceremonial landscapes in Scotland. Human activity has been going on from 6000 BC. Here you will find stone circles and standing stones which have been left behind from the Neolithic and Bronze Age. A one and a half mile walk into the moorland takes us back in time where we can walk in the footsteps of our ancestors and visit a tangible legacy of magical ancient remains. This short film takes a journey through Machri Moor. Moss Farm Road Stone Circle The first site you come to on the ancient Machri Moor ceremonial complex is Moss Farm Road Stone Circle. This is also known as Machri Moor 10. Our ancestors from 2000 BC constructed this site which we can still enjoy visiting in our present day. 4,000 years after the circle was created. The site is late Neolithic to early Bronze Age and unrecognisable from its original state which has been much disturbed. Over time Moss Farm Road's material would have been quarried for dry stained dikes and building walls. Until recent times a fence and track cut through the north section of the circle. The site consists of a low mound of rubble inside a ring of at least 12 slabs of sandstone and boulders of granite. Sites of this type are usually found in groups forming a ceremonial landscape like Comartin Glen. Moss Farm Road is similar to the nearby Ochagallan Cairn. In the present day, seven stones survive upright, five have fallen. The stones range in height from one metre to 1.5 metres high. The ring is roughly 20 metres in diameter with the heavy internal boulders set in yellow sand. Circling the outside of the ring was a stony bank 3 metres in width and made up of small granite stones. Aubrey Burrow partially excavated the circle in 1979. An important person from four millennia ago could have been laid to rest in a crouched position inside a rectangular stone box known as a kist, along with implements like pottery and tools made of flint. Circa 2500 BC, the ancient people started constructing graves for individuals of prestige and family power instead of erecting communal chambered cairns. These new cairns reflect a more hierarchical and organised society. Excavations at similar sites to Moss Farm Road show a complex and long history spanning centuries. The construction of these sites required great organisational and effort from the ancient inhabitants of the island of the southwest coast of Scotland, we now call Arran. Moss Farm Road could be a stone circle with a later burial cairn constructed inside or a burial cairn with a prominent stone kerb. The interpretation is uncertain and the site is a bit of an enigma. A thorough excavation in the future may confirm this. Moss Cauldron Seat Stone Circle The second circle you come to on the Macri Moor complex is Fingal's Cauldron Seat. This is the most impressive stone circle on this fascinating ancient landscape. The site is also known as Macri Moor 5. A pristine double ringed stone circle of granite boulders survives from many millennia ago. From Fingal's Cauldron Seat is views over to the standing stones of Macri Moor 2 and 3 and also Macri Moor 4 stone circle. The two concentric circles are made up of an inner ring of 8 boulders with a diameter of 12 metres. The larger outer circle has a diameter of 18 metres with 15 stones. This is possibly a geometrically constructed egg shape. 
The site is reminiscent of Croft Marek Stone Circle in Perth and Kinross with its multiple concentric circles. The ring is said to be the rest for Fingal's cooking pot. Another legend is the stone with a hole is where Fingal tied up his dog Bran. Another bit of folklore is the stone was the dwelling place of a brownie or fairy who could be appeased by pouring milk through the hole. The King's Cave in Arne once bore the name Fingal's Cave. This is the only circle on Macri Moor which does not have a burial associated with it. The site has been excavated twice, the first time in 1858 by M. Arthur and again by James Bryce in 1861. Bryce found a kist 0.3 metres below ground which was empty and in a bad state. He suggested the area had been disturbed several times before his excavation. Macri Moor has always attracted people as it is a triangular basin of the most fertile part of the island. In 8000 BC in the Mesolithic, people collected materials for tools, collected shells and fished. From 4000 BC, the Neolithic people cleared the land, kept animals and attended to crops. Macri Moor 4 Stone Circle The third stone circle you come to on the moorland is known as Macri Moor 4. This ring from deep antiquity is situated in the centre of the prehistoric landscape which was obviously very important to our Neolithic and Bronze Age ancestors. Looking from the circle is the close by and well known Macri Moor Standing Stones, Macri Moor 2 and 3 and the stone circles of Macri Moor 1 and 11. Fingal's Cauldron Seat is also visible and a short distance away. Both Macri Moor 4 and 5 circles are made up of granite stones. This ring is reminiscent of the four poster stone circles of Perth and Kinross. Four dumpy 1 metre high granite boulders make up this impressive circle which on its own would be very worth a visit for the keen megalithomaniac. The four stones are not an equal distance from each other. They form an ellipse with its longer axis about 6.4 metres wide. It is possible there may be a stone missing. Notice the possible recumbent landscape giant which can be seen from all over Macri Moor. Other recumbent landscape figures can be found from Callanish and Tom Navery Stone Circle in Aberdeenshire. The site was excavated by James Bryce in 1861. He found a kist around 1 metre long by 0.5 metres wide and deep. In the centre area of the ring a person had been laid to rest and was buried with an Irish tripartite football vessel along with three flint flakes and a bronze awl. An airborne laser scan revealed around 1,000 ancient sites on Arm, including medieval farmsteads and prehistoric settlements. The island was scanned by LiDAR. This created a 3D record of the land surface. The survey revealed double the amount of ancient sites on Arm, including a Neolithic ceremonial structure and a Cursus monument at least 0.7 miles long near Macri Moor. This LiDAR technology allows rapid archaeological survey over weeks rather than months and years. This project was undertaken by archaeologists at Historic Environment Scotland in November 2017. Macri Moor 2 Standing Stones The three iconic standing stones on the moorland are known as Macri Moor 2. A fourth standalone megalith known as Macri Moor 3 is a short walk away. Here we have three sandstone megaliths in a 13.5 metre diameter that have survived into the present day. 
Originally, there were seven or eight. The stones are roughly between 3.5 metres and 5 metres high. In 1861, the excavation revealed two kists in the circle's interior. One kist had an Irish tripartite football vessel, a possible inhumation burial and four flint flakes. The second kist was found to be empty. An 18th century attempt to turn granite boulders into millstones can be found next to the megaliths. A personal alternative view on the four standing stones reveals a similarity to features found at Callanish Three Stone Circle. These features seem to resemble the triple goddess, maiden, mother, crone or hag, with the male consort. An observation concerning the landscape around Macri Moor seems to reveal two possible recumbent landscape figures. Ben Barain is reminiscent of an infant. This landscape feature is also prominent from the nearby standing stones called Druid Ochenkar. The snow-topped hill range resembles a male adult made up of Ben Neuss, Ben Tarsian and Goatfell. The stone circles of Macri Moor is not the only place associated with recumbent landscape figures or features. The best known in Scotland is from the Callanish Standing Stones called the Old Woman of the Moors or Sleeping Beauty. Macri Moor 3 Standing Stone A short walk away and visible from the three stones is Macri Moor 3. This resembles a male phallus. The Macri Moor two stones seem to take on the female triple goddess features. Perhaps our ancient ancestors deliberately placed the stone circles and standing stones with these landscape features in clear view. And could this landscape have been a fertility ritual area? The large Macri Moor three stone is 4.5 metres high and a sole survivor from a possible nine. Probing took place in 1963 and located the remainder stones. The 1861 excavation uncovered a kist in the central area which held flint flakes and an urn. The urn had burnt bone fragments that disintegrated on removal. A second kist was found that contained a crouched burial along with more flint flakes. Macri Moor 1 Stone Circle In the heart of Macri Moor is another fine stone circle known as Macri Moor 1. This originally started life as a circular timber structure. This ancient ring is the most complex site in the ceremonial landscape and one of the most impressive. 4,500 years ago, the prehistoric people erected circles of timber. This was the origin of the site and 500 years before the stone circle was constructed. Macri Moor 1 had three timber circles and the middle ring was exactly the same size as the later stone circle construction. The post holes decrease in size from the inner circle outwards with the smaller posts on the outer circle. A post stood between this site and the Macri Moor 11 circle, which is just a few metres away. Macri Moor 11 also had a timber circle predating the stone construction. 11 stones make up a diameter of 13 metres, 6 are granite boulders and roughly the same size. Only one stands upright, all others are leaning or falling. Five stones are made of smaller, slim sandstone slabs. There may have originally been six. The granite and sandstone are set alternately. James Bryce excavated a trench in 1861. At the centre of the ring, nothing was found. Further excavations took place in 1978 to 1979 by Aubrey Burrow. Some of the finds were cremated remains of a probable male 
aged 25 to 30. The remains were put in an off-centre pit with a bone needle and a knife made of burnt flint. This was covered by an upturned cordoned urn from around 3,300 years ago. A grooved wheel rim shard was found in a post hole located directly beneath one of the stone holes. Cremated bone was also found at the base of one of the stones. This was inserted during the time when the ring was in use. Further excavations took place from April to May 1986. Many more finds of pitchstone and flint were made and some pit features produced large amounts of pottery. The location of these circles gives an early viewpoint to summer solstice sunrise at the head of Macri Glen. Perhaps another reason the moor is abundant in tangible remains from deep antiquity could be this solar alignment which may have been very important to our ancient ancestors. Macri Moor 11 Stone Circle The Stone Circle of Macri Moor 11 is the last site you come to on the ancient ceremonial complex on Macri Moor. The site is also known as Macri Moor 6. This is a recently rediscovered site by Ewan McKee in 1975. Macri Moor 1, just a few metres away, shares a few common themes with its neighbour. There are few places in Scotland with a collection of stone circles and standing stones all a short walk from each other. This is a landscape which was no doubt extremely important to our ancient ancestors and even today is one of Scotland's best prehistoric complexes. A few other examples are Comartin Glen, Callanish and the Nestle Brodgar complex on Orkney. The stone circles were a later phase of construction on the moor. These rings of stone were created circa 2000 BC. The ancient people of Arn were active as far back as 3500 BC. A circular timber arrangement was the first phase of activity around 2500 BC. Ten post holes were uncovered. The later boulders were positioned between these earlier post holes. The post holes contained fragments of charcoal and disturbed backing stones were also found in many of the holes, suggested the wooden posts were taken out perhaps when the stone circle was constructed. The ring is 13 metres in diameter. One stone is granite while the others are sandstone. The tallest stone is just over one metre high. During the Late Bronze Age, circa 700 BC, peat started to form on the moorland. At this time, the peat completely blanketed the circle. Come 1864, the site was referred to as a small circle of two stones. In 1978 to 1979, Aubrey Burrow excavated and in 1986, further excavations took place. In the centre of the circle, a pit was dug and the remains of a cremated male of 30 years was uncovered along with a flint core. Other finds include scrapers made of iron pitchstone, waste flakes, diorite, knives and pottery. Is it possible Macri Moor was held dear by our ancient ancestors as a fertility area along with the possible landscape figures? and the summer solstice sunrise alignment. Perhaps this is why the prehistoric people chose to carefully place many sacred stone circles here. Macri Moor is located on Arran's west coast on the A841 road and three miles north of Blackwaterfoot. The historical sites are in the care of Historic Environment Scotland with signage and a car park. Before Caledonia is a historical project on YouTube and Facebook that features Scotland's ancient sites focusing on the Neolithic and Bronze Age stone circles, standing stones and rock art. You can support my work through Patreon 
or a PayPal donation. The links are below. Thanks to my current patrons and lastly a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.